गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द मॉरल साइंस क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड चैप्टर फाइव इंडियन सेंटा अ सेंटा क्लॉज कम्स एज अ गेस्ट द मेन मोटो ऑफ होटल इंडस्ट्री इज टू सर्व इट्स हॉस्पिटैलिटी टू इट्स गेस्ट डू यू डू द सेम एट होम लेट्स रीड अ स्टोरी अबाउट hospitality and courtesy once there was a farmer who lived with his wife son and daughter in law he took a pledge that he would only eat the food that he could grow in his fields once there was a terrible famine in the village the farmer and his family could only get one small meal in a day they became very weak and thin one day the farmer found a little barley and took it home his wife made some chapatis from the barley and divided it into four portions so that each can have a share just as they were going to eat a sage came to their doorstep The farmer got up and welcomed the sage inside the house very respectfully. He gave him water to wash the hands and requested him to sit down. He put his own small share of food before the guest. The very hungry guest quickly ate it up. It was a very small portion so the guest remained still hungry. Now the wife placed her portion of food in the hands of the farmer so that he can give it to the saint but the farmer refused and said to her that dear do eat your food it pains me to see your part with it but the wife insisted him to give food to the guest The saint ate the wife's share but still wanted some more. The son and daughter-in-law also offered their share. The sage was pleased with the kindness of the poor family. After the meal as the saint stood up a bright halo appeared around him. a circle of very bright light around the head of the saint appeared and the farmer understood that he was a holy man now the saint blessed the farmer's family and said this instance of hospitality and kindness is unmatched i grant you to be the best of worldly riches may you live with the same compassion in your hearts helping every needy comes to your door as he disappeared there appeared a plenty of food in their plates so the story tells us that courtesy cost nothing but buys everything or courtesy achieves everything as the farmer and the family achieved everything due to their hospitality and courtesy the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others so the moral of the story is that we are forgotten for what we say but remembered for always how do we treat so the key is to set realistic guest expectations and then not to just meet them but to exceed them preferably in unexpected and helpful ways thank you 
and have a nice day